I don't think there was ever one moment where I thought I was like, I am good. I always question, am I good enough? You know, that inner doubt, that fear still drives me to this day. It still pushes me because I've never felt like I was the best. I felt like I've been good. And even though at times, you know, people will say I was the best, I never put myself in that spot. I always felt like there's always more to learn. I can always be better. I can always do, do more. I don't know if they realized he started from nothing. I had my boat repossessed, almost had my truck repossessed, got evicted from where I was staying, and I wound up being homeless. And I told myself, I'm gonna give it one more try. I just never wanted to live with regrets the rest of my life. What you see is what you get with Skeet. And I guess I want people to come away with that as a lesson that you can still strive for your dreams because you don't always hear that. But he didn't have a lot and he had a passion and he followed it and, and that's how he got to where he is today. My name is Skeet Reese. I'm a professional bass fisherman. I compete in tournaments and I chase little green fish around the country. I got the greatest job ever. Oh, traveling with Skeet when he was an up and coming anger. Oh my gosh, the best times ever. We didn't have anything to lose. We had everything to gain. And we traveled around and I got to love and appreciate what he did and his passion. It's not something that I think you meet people that have a passion and a desire for something. And um, when I saw Skeet's drive, we had to go for it. So one of the things I've always said, I'm not smart enough to know any different. So I was too stubborn and stupid. So I had a passion for fishing and that always, no matter what trials and tribulations of life were going on, that was my one outlet, my escape, my serenity. And I was always able to get to that space and that probably pulled me out of more dark moments in my life than anything else. For me, I hate fishing. I love catching. Catching is fun. It's that drug of choice, that getting that bite from a fish and setting the hook, that split second of uncertainty, what's gonna be on the end of your line, that's everything. That's what drives me. So when I'm up here and I get that bite, then I am, I'm still like a 10 year old in the front of this boat. I get giddy catching them. I still giggle and laugh and have fun. And, and that's what I love about it. I love the challenge, but I love the fun of just Jack and fish. Of course he has his accomplishments, his titles, but I have to be honest, it's who he is as a person and how he's grown. I think a lot of people misunderstood who he was, thought he was actually on the other extreme, a little more cocky because he didn't have confidence and uh, I think he was scared of a lot of things. And over the years uh, being together, we worked as a team and I'm just proud of the person he's grown into. His ability to care for people, to love, to always be giving, to go for his dreams. He's willing to take chances on things and it's really fun to watch. Oh boy. Yeah, go back to that 20 some year old kid that thought he was good and then he'd lose everything. And to tell him that you are good enough, yeah. And I tell that to anybody. You are good enough. It's, there's so many things in life and usually it's childhood stuff that you're never taught to believe in yourself. It doesn't matter what you do in life, you are good enough. As long as you're willing to try, treat people the way you want to be treated, 
you are good enough. Um, so I would go back to Skeet in the younger years, tell him you are good enough, keep doing what you're doing, and enjoy your life as much as you possibly can.